The diversity of human language may be compared to the diversity of the natural world. Just as the demise of plant species reduces genetic diversity and deprives humanity or potential medical and biological resources, so extinction of language takes with a wealth of culture, art, and knowledge. This study tracked about 1,000 adults in the United States and they ranged in age from 34 to 93 and they started the study by asking, how much stress have you experienced in the last year? They also asked, how much time have you spent helping out friends, neighbors, people in your community? And then they used public records for the next five years to find out who died. The uniquely scented flavor of vanilla is second only to chocolate in popularity on the world's palate. It's also the second most expensive spice after saffron. But highly labor intensive cultivation methods and the plant's temperamental life cycle and propagation mean production on a global scale is struggling to keep up with the increasing demand for the product.
In classes, your teachers will talk about topics that you are studying. The information that they provide will be important to know when you take tests. You must be able to take good written notes from what your teacher says. This book is no ordinary book and should not be read through from beginning to end. It contains many different adventures and the path you take will depend on the choices you make along the way. The success or failure of your mission will hinge on the decisions you make, so think carefully before choosing. Exhilarating, exhausting, and intense. There are just some of the words used to describe doing an MBA. Everyone's experience of doing MBA is, of course, different through denying that it's hard and a demanding work whichever course you do. MBA is one of the fastest growing areas of studying in the UK, so that must be a sustainable benefit against form in one pain.
The semiconductor industry has been able to improve the performance of electric systems for more than four decades by making ever smaller devices. However, this approach will soon encounter both scientific and technical limits, which is why the industry is exploring a number of alternative device technologies. In his landmark account, first published over 20 years ago, the author argues that the ignorance and lethargy of the poor are direct results of the whole situation of economic, social, and political domination. By being kept in a situation in which critical awareness and response are practically impossible, the disadvantaged are kept submerged. Australians do speak English, however, for some tourists and travelers, it can be difficult to understand the slang. Also, the links between Australian and American English were seen to be very tenuous. At least some colloquialisms in Australian English does not exist in other types of English.
The preparation of abstracts is an intellectual effort requiring general familiarity with the subject. To bring out the salient points of an author's argument calls for skill and experience. Consequently, a considerable amount of qualified manpower that could be used to advantage in other ways must be diverted to the task of facilitating access to information. Shrimp farmers used to hold animals in nursery ponds for 30 to 60 days. Now they try to move them into grow-out ponds in less than 30 days. This reduces stress on the animals and dramatically increases survivals in the grow-out ponds. Many farms that abandoned nursery ponds have gone back to them and the results have been surprisingly positive. They're using the old, uncovered, earthen nursery ponds. Along with customary classes on subjects such as finance, accounting, and marketing, today's MBA students are enrolling on courses for environmental policy and stewardship. Indeed, more than half of business schools require a course in environmental sustainability or corporate social responsibility, according to a survey of 91 U.S. business schools published in October 2005.
But on May 3rd, a couple of weeks later, Lincoln issued an executive order calling for 43,000 three-year volunteers for the army, and also increasing the size of the regular army and navy by 40,000 men. Both of these actions were in apparent violation of the Constitution. If countries can specialize in certain goods, they can benefit from economies of scale and lower average cost. This is especially true in the industry with high fixed costs or that require a high level of investment. The benefits of the economy of scale will ultimately lead to lower prices for consumers and greater efficiency for exporting firms. In spite of the spectacularly high quality of life for the vast majority of the people who live in the European Union, its inhabitants seem obsessed by the region's relative decline in the world. Slow economic growth rates and high unemployment have reinforced the impression that Europe is unhappy with today and unsure of tomorrow.
The latest scientific evidence on the nature and strength of the links between diet and chronic diseases is examined and discussed in detail in the following sections of this report. This section gives an overall view of the current situation and trends in chronic diseases at the global level.